We're here at the Edelchrome booth with Kadir. Now, Kadir, cameras keep getting smaller, and with those smaller cameras, we're actually getting great image quality. But trying to use traditional video production for larger camera rigs on those tiny cameras, they just bulk them up and makes them very impractical. So you guys have a whole lineup of gear that's optimized for those smaller cameras. So why don't you take us through that lineup and show us what they do. Exactly. There's a reason why cameras are getting smaller and lighter, because people want them smaller and lighter, because portability is the key to have uh, to success. Because when you have portable products with you, you have them with you all the time. You don't think twice if you want it with you or not. So we wanted, we, we created this uh, pocket series, which has six products in them, all of which you will carry with you wherever you go and you'll be ready to shoot all sorts of productions. Here is, uh, this one here is a handle solution. It has a really small compact form factor. It's really pocket size. And when it opens up, and it turns into this uh, handle solution. Here I have it on a camera. I can, uh, it, it really has lots of degrees of freedoms. So I can really get uh, satisfying handle solutions. And also, this one has a, also an alternate use, which we love. And it's a tabletop, um, tabletop stand. And this looks very similar, folded down, since they have the same form factor. Just 13 centimeters wide, which is the exact measurement of uh, Blackmagic pocket camera. And when this opens up, it turns into this form. It, it, it's, it has a flexible arm inside, so it, you can use it as a, as a chest support or a belt attachment. And this is aluminum, by the way, and it's really, 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 really sturdy and steady. And I can attach it on my belt, relax my arms while shooting and still get super stable shots with this. Again, it falls down and turns into this real small compact solution. Plus, um, we have this slider here attached on the camera. It looks, it gives 20 centimeters of camera travel. It's a work in progress. It's not ready for uh, being uh, shipped yet. But again, uh, sometimes having this amount of camera travel with you can be a lifesaver. So again, with this such small form factor, why would you leave it home, have it with you all the time? And you know, honestly, you, you're, you've shown us a variety of stuff that all could fit in the bag with the camera. Just you pull out the base for whatever you need. You can have exactly. a small camera bag and literally do everything. Great thing is you can mix and match them. As you see, there are two different pocket products are being used together right now. This one is the slider on the top. And on the, on the bottom, we have the stand, pocket stand. And that's it. This is the folded form and it delivers an unprecedented amount of flexibility and this is heavy duty actually. Uh, you can attach a really heavy camera like Blackmagic's uh, cameras or even you know, Canon C300, anything. Because um, it's again aluminum body, makes it all possible and doesn't slip and it's awful. it can cling on uh, things instead of uh, be working on the flat surfaces. Another nice combination we like is, you see here, this support can be combined with handles right here. I can attach my handles underneath and have a solution quite similar to a rig. So yeah, they, they still work together in combinations. And you still have the, obviously the threaded base there so you can quickly go into a tripod yeah. and, and you're not sacrificing any of that for the rig. No, you're not. 
definitely right. All right, now this one looks like a little boom box. Show me what this one does. Well, that's the last um, item I would like to show you for from the Pocket Series. This uh, is the folded form. I'm not sure if you can tell what this is, but this is a skater, which unfolds and turns into this little fella. This skater, of course, there are many skaters out there. This is just one of them, but again, form factor is here. Uh, it's, it's superior, and it's, it has some slight height adjustment and tilt back and forth adjustment because the, the wheels and everything is super flexible. You have many degrees of freedom here. So you can really make the system uh, behave however you like it. You can even turn it into a rail dolly if you know, just had some, some simple track. You could do that exactly. Here. There are no limits to this. And it really solves uh, all your skater needs. Kadir, last year you showed us an amazing dream of what a small motion control system could be. Now it's out. Show us what the system can do and how people are using it very innovatively. All right, it's, it hasn't been too long since we launched it. We promised to make it as quick as possible, but it took us longer than we thought because we kept adding features on it. And now it's out for for the last few months. And uh, we have three motion control solutions for the Slider Plus now. You see two of them attached here uh, on each side of it. They do different things. This one takes care of automatic panning which is great because it follows, it, it makes the camera follow an object while you're sliding. This gives a really nice sensation because um, the, when you're sliding, your target stays put in the frame. Meanwhile, all the rest of the things in the background starts moving around. So it's a great storytelling um, tool. And also setting this up is super simple right now um, I'm in the setup mode it's it won't do anything it's just asking me uh, where is the where is the uh, object to follow and how far away is it these two questions I can answer by using this button here and after that by left right I can tell which direction is it and after that I say okay it says target active from now on I operate my slider manually but you see that the camera is starting to pan automatically and responsively and you get really really uh, unique <coughs> solutions with this and on the other hand here this is a motion control solution which doesn't slow you down which lets you have all your slide actions motion controlled because it's very simple to do uh, you just press this button it starts recording your actions and then you show the system where you want the system to start stop and your average speed after it records that I can go back to my start point and repeat the same action action as much as I want and it's really super um, precise and I can take my system use it manually and still send it to one of those points afterwards it still memorizes those spots so it's averaging the motion it's not relying on you to be perfectly smooth while while doing the initial motion exactly see sliders are smooth things so it's all up to your um, muscles and concentrations to get a perfect steady shot this makes it a breeze and easy as you see i've just set it up and replayed it while we're speaking. Now what if somebody wanted to be able to loop that move and just let it run in, uh, indefinitely? Oh, that's easy. You just double tap the direction you want and starts moving that, that direction and starts moving back and forth continuously. And now for, I see that this system is all self-contained. There's no cords running or anything like that. For power, uh, you're just using the LP6 batteries from Canon. Yeah, we have many different battery options. The most popular one is this LP6 uh, batteries. And of course you can power the system from a wall socket as well. All right, so you've got target module, we've got the wizard module. But you guys just came out with a brand new one too, aimed at time-lapse and stop-motion videographers. Yeah, that's right. Uh, setting up time-lapses can be sometimes confusing. 
especially with motion control time lapses, it gets even more difficult. So we had to make it simple because rest of our products are very simple to use. It has it it shouldn't be another. Uh, it, so it has to be real simple. We try to simplify it in a different way. We our time lapse uh, module, which is craft in this case here, asks uh, very sensible, easy to answer questions, which helps you set your camera up, set your system up. Uh, so you visualize your shot in your mind. It helps you compose your shots in your mind. And that's why you don't take more pictures or less pictures than you need accidentally. So with this information, it calculates the total number of frames it should take, how wide should the step size would be, it also telling me what should my what should be my maximum shutter speed should be informing me about that, and I can start now. Setup is complete. I can start it right now, or I can delay it to some other time, like five hours from now, tomorrow maybe, and then um, it starts and it delivers that result. It it always tells me the percentage complete while it's in operation. Another cool thing is, sometimes people get really uh, bored with the time lapse. They want to get the results. They want to. They consider about stopping uh, the time lapse in the middle. And in that case, it always tells how many seconds of video you would get if you just stopped right now. So it's very intuitive, very easy, uh, friendly, and you don't have to learn everything from scratch. You can get it right on the first time. And it isn't just controlling the motion, it also has a built-in intervalometer then that controls the, the camera shutter then, correct? Yeah, uh, with, the, with the help of this uh, shutter cable, yeah, it triggers the shutter of the camera. So you just have to set up probably your color, temperature, etc. on the camera and the rest is dealt deal with uh, the craft module. So a really, really simple, intuitive system that can really bump up the quality of your time lapses without a ton of setup time. Definitely, yeah. Awesome. All right, Kadir, your Slider Plus system has been one of the most unique slider designs on the market, but it's always been aimed for smaller camera systems. Uh, you guys just released something that is aimed for the bigger cameras, something that everybody's been wanting to, to get a hold of that have a larger camera system. So tell us about uh, what this can do and uh, what kind of weight capacity it has. Well, um, the Slider Plus Pro version has an extended camera trace which lets the system carry more load and also there's been some uh, work done on the wheels as well so with the combination now the slider plus carries more load and moves the camera even further and you see here it still delivers the twice its own length advantage with the regular slider plus and again Longer dolly in out is also still possible with this design. Operating the system not from the camera maybe but from the edge of the slider is also possible. And again, you can attach the motion control systems on it. Uh, the target module, wizard module and the craft module still can be attached on it. And the carrying capacity has went way has went up for to 24 uh, pounds for the uh, X large version but it increases even more all the way up to uh, 40 pounds um, for this shorter version of the slider plus pro that's great so now there's a slider pretty much for any camera size no matter what uh, unless you're using a giant broadcast camera most cameras are going to be able to work with uh, the systems exactly we have uh, a different camera and, and a, a red attached on the other one and we have tested it so far it's just it's been perfect for us and for our customers. And this, uh, even though it's compact size, which is no bigger than a normal tripod size, uh, you can get three feet of camera action. Because yeah, one of the things that everybody experiences when you have a larger camera, you need to have a larger tripod head, which then bulks up the whole system. So exactly. by having a great weight capacity, um, then you can have a, a great system that's fluid across every motion. Absolutely, that's what we went for with this Pro version. I could hear every year we seem to end with some incredibly new product that I've never seen before. Um, you guys are, are just, it seems like you never stop experimenting at Edelcron. So this, the wing, 
Just tell me what it does. It's, 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 I've never seen anything like it. Well, yeah, Wink is, has a really compact form and it's, it, wor it works vertical, which is a different approach to camera motion. And it delivers a slider-like performance. As you see, we have attached this uh, light pocket camera and now the wing is delivering one meters of camera travel and on a straight line without having any rails. So the camera is gliding through the air. That's why we call this the wing. And you can use it for dolly in-out purposes. <laughs> and you get really extremely long dolly in-outs with this. And since there are no uh, rails whatsoever in the system, you can also actually tilt down the camera. And this is something no slider can do because they would be shooting themselves right. in, the, in such cases. And also uh, making this system work in inclines is also very easy. Uh, in this case, since this is a prototype and it's not ready to be shipped yet, we have some not so practical ways to adjust the incline, but again, I would like to show it to you, to you nevertheless. Let's have it to this some um, 45 degree angle. And yeah, see, uh, so this can work in inclines as well. So uh, we find this is gonna be very, very exciting for many uh, videographers because this really frees them up and about the portability. We have achieved great things with Slider Plus and this is stepping one step further uh, with the whole camera motion control. You, you basically have turned a slider and a jib and turned it into something that you can put in your backpack. Yeah, and doesn't it look cool? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so is this something that we'll be seeing anytime soon or is it just a working prototype? Yeah, we need many months for this to work properly. We're working on the weight capacity issues. Uh, we're very excited about this. That's why we brought it to show, uh, even though it's a bit too early to show it off. But again, uh, this will be out before the end of this year, definitely. Very good. Well, you guys think this is a pretty cool product? Leave a comment in the video and let it all know what your thoughts. Thanks for your time, Kadir. Thank you very much. Awesome. Special thanks to our sponsors for making our NAB coverage possible.